Hello everyone, this is Wilson. Let's look at this series here. We want to test whether it's conversion or diversion by using the limit comparison test. And the way that we are going to pick the uh, series that we compare with this original problem is that we are going to look at the dominant turns for the limerator and the denominator. So as you can see here, we have the dominant turn in the limerator, which is five to the n, and then in the denominator, uh, the larger one is the four to the n, right? So when we do that comparison, we are going to just say that we are going to compare the series with the one that has the, the quotient of the dominant turns of the numerator and the denominator of the original problem. So in this case, we are going to compare uh, the original problem with phi to the n over four to the n. And that's a geometric series, because if you rewrite it in the form of phi over four raised to the n power, then we know that that's a geometric series with the common ratio r equals phi over four. Mm -hmm. And so um, what is the convergence of the series? This series is divergent. This is a divergent geometric series. Why? Because the absolute value of the common ratio is equal to phi over four, right? And so that's greater than one. And so that means this series diverges. And so in this case, we are going to, um, we're gonna take the limit and as long as we are getting a positive finite number, we are going to draw the conclusion that this series will also diverge because the one that we picked to compare with this original problem is a divergent geometric series. Okay, so let's set up the limit. So when we set up the limit, again, it's going just like usual. We are going to get a big quotient. And then there is a smaller quotient which comes from our original problem. So that's phi to the n minus three to the n. And then we have three to the n plus four to the n. Okay, now what about the denominator? The denominator would be, um, I'm not going to use this form here. I'm going to use just the phi to the n over four to the n to calculate the limit. So we are going to put that here, which is phi to the n over, oh, that looks too bad, right? So over four to the n. <clears throat> so now what happens is that just like usual routine work, we have, we are going to convert this quotient into a product. So we are getting phi n, phi to the n minus three to the n over three to the n plus four to the n. And then times the reciprocal of this phi to the n over four to the n, which is four to the n, and then phi to the n. So now when we do the multiplication, you know that we got to distribute the four to the n to the numerator and then distribute the phi to the n to the denominator, right? So we are going to get we are going to get um, phi to the n times four to the n minus three to the n times four to the n. And then the denominator would be three to the n times phi to the n uh, plus four to the n times phi to the n. <clears throat> and then actually you can simplify each product into a simpler form. So let's do that. And we, if we are doing that, then we are going to get 20 to the n minus, uh, what is that? That's 12 to the n. 
Okay, in the denominator, we are going to get 15 to the n, and then plus 20 to the n. So, <clears throat> if you consider that n is approaching infinity, then we are going to get infinity over infinity here. That will be an indeterminate form. So in that case, we are going to factor out the dominant terms just like you show. So we are going to factor out the 20n from the numerator and then also the 20 to the n in the denominator, which will give us... Yeah, so if we do that, that will give us 20n, right? And then we are going to get 1 minus... Now, if we factor out the 20n from the 12n, then we are going to get 12 over 20, all that to the n power. Actually, let me just use brackets right here just to so that we don't have too many parentheses stacked together. Okay, so I think that looks better. Okay, so let's continue. Same thing that we do at the bottom. So we factor out the 20 to the n in the denominator. And then if we factor out 20 to the n from the 15 to the n, we are going to get 15 over 20 all that raised to the n power and then plus one. And so now um, doing the canceling here, the 20 to the n got canceled. And then what happens? Then we get our limit to be, now we have one and then minus. Let's look at this fraction right here. This fraction is 12 over 20, which actually can be reduced to, if you divide top and bottom by four, then you're gonna get three over five. And so that's three over five to the n power. And when n approaches infinity, you are really just multiplying 0.6, just keep multiplying 0.6 and eventually that number is approaching zero. So you can see that here that um, this fraction right here, it's going to be approaching zero as n approaching infinity. And same thing is happening right here because that's actually just um, three over four, right? So three over four to the n power and n is approaching infinity, then that fraction, that quotient with the n power is also approaching infinity. I think that's, that's let me just draw it better so that now it's easier to see. Okay, so that's approaching zero. So what's going on here? We are having one minus zero. And then in the denominator, we are getting zero plus one, right? Zero plus one. And so see what's going on here? The limit is equal to one. And then now we can say that, okay, so this one is, so we know that that's, of course, that's positive, right? And then it's also a finite number. And so by the limit comparison test, then we conclude that this both series will converge or both series diverge. And because our green series right here is divergent, then our original series will also be divergent. So now let's write down the conclusion. So we say, so we say that the series which is our original problem, right? Starting at n equals one, phi to the n, and then minus three to the n, over three to the n plus four to the n is divergent. Um, by the, what, by the limit comparison test. Then we're finished with the problem. Okay, so that's it for this problem. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give me some support. I will continue to make more videos in the future. And yeah, so thank you for watching. I will see you next time.